Hello friends, today we are going to do the experiment symbol pendulum. As the name indicates, it's a very simple experiment. Okay, so let's start the experiment. Begin with A. The first one, to verify the relation between period and the length of a symbol pendulum. Second one, to find the acceleration due to gravity at the place. Okay, then the apparatus, symbol pendulum, stopwatch, meter scale and the stand. Then the principle for a small oscillation of a symbol pendulum is number 11th which is t is equal to 2 pi root l by g. So we have to find the equation for g. So we have to square it. t square is equal to 4 pi square l square no l by g. Clear? Now g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square okay this is very important this equation which is done we will calculations of the and one more thing you have to specify the thing l is length of the thread length of the thread and t is time period g is the acceleration due to gravity clear now the next thing sometimes you question le, graph plot a amarum. L versus T square you graph plot a and you to specify it otherwise you don't need to do that but here we have to do that so we have to draw the graph x y and in the y axis it is T square second and this is L length is in meter or maybe it is in centimeter if it is in centimeter you have to convert okay so you should get a straight line you should get a straight line and then in this way points connected it will slope corresponding x-axis difference of y-axis and then if you give the name a b c then what a c by bc which is nothing but the slope so what you have to do is number the equation the substitute here what is the equation g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square instead of that you have to substitute ac by bc clear this is the next thing before starting the observation column the length of a pendulum is the distance between point of suspension and center of the book. So, we measure length. We measure the equation. We measure length. We measure length. We measure the length. We measure the thread. We measure the thread. We measure the thread. We measure the bob in the center. We measure the length. 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 Okay, from here to here, we will measure the scale base and we measure the And this is nothing but R. Radius is equal. So, you can see the bob in the radius. That is the same thing. You can add the length of the length of the length. After that, then you will get the proper measurements. Clear? If you have 50 and the thread in the length of the length of the length, the bob in the center of the length of the length, if you don't have 50 here, you will have 51 here. Because 1 cm is the radius of the bob in the length of the length. Radius is nothing but 1 cm. So, 50 plus 1, 51. In that way, you have to do. Okay. Now, the observations and calculations. So, radius of the bob, which is in centimeter, Okay, radius in the bob 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 in the चलप्प निंगल डेड़ते 10 oscillations आयरिकें पारायनदु Then period of oscillation t is equal to t by 20 अधा इद इवड़ा किट्टन मीन किट्टन अधु divided by 20 चेदा नमके इंदु विट्टों period of oscillation विट्टों Then we have to square it then l by t square नमाट equation ओर्थ वेक्या So equation is nothing but g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square So आधे इंदु गाणनु t गंड़ 
you have to take the mean. E L by T square na mean edukana, then we have to substitute. Clear? So now we are going to do the experiment. So this is our simple pendulum apparatus. Okay, this is the stand and this is the bob attached with a thread. Now we are going to do the experiment. Threading the length to adjust the thread, we will do the oscillations. We will do the 20 oscillations or 10 oscillations. We will do the oscillations. We will do the stopwatch. We will do the measurements. We will do the time to do the 20 oscillations. We will do the 10 oscillations. So first of all, we will do the measurements. From the start, we will do the bobbing to the top. End beri, anu, nama lo measurement zirka. So, angan end beri edukum bom. Ini nama lo de length 50, anu, angkuk bandar tu engkau. Nama lo ande, anu, 51 na iri kena e measurement zir. Karena, nama actually nama lo de thread ini length beri, anu, eda beri, anu, nama lo measurement zirukum bom. Edukkan dah eda beri, anu, nama lo de bob ini center beri, anu. So, center itu atau cap bottom beri, anu, itu barang ni, anu, dana radius anu. Apa, orang accuracy kita ni, itu, nama lo ande cia, itu ru 1 centimeter radius la bob anu. So, ibaran tu atau ई एंड वरे बॉब इंडे एंड वरे नमक का आरोबत सेंटीमीटर आना वैंडे इंगे नमला आरोबत तोन्द मेशरमेंट रख करना और 50 आना वैंडे इंगे 51 रख करना सो इवडे पन यानी इधर 51 मेशरमेंट्स रखते रहते हैं ना वैसे थ्रेड इंडे लाइन तो 50 आना एंड दिस रेडियस इंक्लूडिंग 51 ओके इधर यान मेश Nggalah pin name length change ya, dite measurement cerita. So, ini berde pula reading ada kena, saya kahani cera. Ini berde pandai kaya stop watch cila, saya phone lana measurement cerita kena. So, first you have to do is, ini bobin anda kondo nite oscillate ya. Apo kacik karya nggalah serudi kena dite. Oscillation ni barang, bumb. Ini berde anda start ya, ini berde pula terici same position leto naya naya nama lantai baraya. One oscillation baraya. And one more thing, oscillation twenty counts nggalah apa start ya, no. At that time, you can change the stopwatch on that time. Clear? So now, we are going to take 20 counts of oscillation. Okay. 1, 2, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So, you have a concentration of concentration. Like, counting, maybe you feel like to stop this. But, you have a stopwatch to concentrate. I mean, you have a concentration of concentration. Now, what you have to do is, next, you have to read this readings. Now, you have to read this readings. 29 okay. So, this is the two readings. Accuracy is the two readings. Then we are going to take mean. Okay. That's why we are going to change the length. We are going to change the length. We are going to change the length. 4-5 readings. We are going to change the length. That's it. Clear? So these are the values we got. Okay, L plus R is 51. So L is 50. Then we have two terms. So first reading is 21 and the other one also. Because accurate is accurate. Then the mean is added here. Then divided with 2, we will get the mean. Clear? Now we have confusion down and down. Next, period of oscillation T is equal to T by 20. That is the ORO readings. We have 20 only divided. So, this we will get 1.4, then 1.5, 1.6, So, period of oscillation T is equal to T by 20. E oro reading name, namal in the enam 20 on the divide enam. So, we will get 1.4, then this is 
1.9. After that, we have to square it. Okay. So when we'll square, we'll get this value 1.96, 2.56, 2.89, then 3.24, 3.61. Okay. E t ne square it up kitty values another. Next L by T square. L is what? This 50 by 1.96, then 60 by 2.56, and 70 by 2.89. 80 by 3.24 and 90 by 3.61. This is the same values. Okay. So, L by T square is this value. Now, we have to find the mean. That is, we have to add 5 and divide. So, we will get the mean is mean L by T square which is equal to 24.24.52 centimeter okay now centimeter lana and then we meter like convert so we'll get 24 24.52 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter okay you need to convert it on the marker the next step is what we have to do we have to find out g so g is 4 pi square l by t square okay l by t square value i'm called rickety so g is equal to 4 into 3.14 whole square into 24.52 24.52 into 10 raised to minus 2. You can see that 9.8 times you can adjust values. If you can adjust the value of 9.5 times, you can adjust the answer correct. Clear? Now, we have to plot these values in the graph. After that, we can adjust the value of the graph. Clear? So, I will write here this again. This is 24.52 into 10 raised to minus 2 and this is nothing but 9.6 meter per second square g is equal to 9.6 meter per second square clear now the next from graph okay this is the graph we got l t square graph okay now we took in that way is 20 40 60 80 and 100 okay if we add the x axis on l and y axis on the t square on the okay and it is in the line it is centimeter line so into 10 raised to minus 2 meter otherwise you will forget to convert right and here in y axis 0 0.5 0 0.1 1.5 0 0.2 2 2.5 3.3 3.5.4 that's it now number the first value we are in the 50 lana 50 we are going to get a value we are in the 1.96 i guess okay which is 1.96 so this is 50 we are going to get a value which is 1.96 after that order value 60 70 80 90 100 no till not 100 it's Okay, 90 variable measurements are number 90 variable points mark here. So we got this. After that, join the lines. Then what we will get? We will get the slope. Okay. Slope under the general point in the corresponding x axis and corresponding y axis. So what we will get? So this is 70 minus 50, and here this is. 3.69 minus 1.96 okay so we will get a b is equal to 40 that is 70 minus 50 so 40 which is we have to convert into meter so 0 0.4 meter 
so I'll write here AB is equal to 0 0.4 meter and BC is equal to 1.65 second clear then G is nothing but 4 pi square AB by BC Abum AB by BC G is equal to 4 into 3.14 whole square into AB by BC which means 0 0.4 by 1.65 this is we will get 9.57 meter per second square so, we will the calculations in the calculations. We will graph plot in the value of the graph. We will get the Which means we got approximately right values. So, from graph 9.57 meter per second. That is good. So, from graph 9.57 meter per second. Square. Clear? Now the result. Acceleration due to gravity at the place by calculation which is 9.6 meter per second square. You can see graph from graph from graph 9.57 meter per second square into graph 9.57 meter per second square. That's it. That's simple. Okay. So I hope it's clear. Thank you. Target learning app. Kela's most trusted learning partner.